Hey y'all, it's Robert, and it's that time of year again. It's the War Boss Tay Painting Challenge. Alright, so uh, last year it was the May Painting Challenge. This year it's more of a summer painting challenge. It started in May, but it runs all the way through July. Alright, so let's take a look at what I got. This is the North Star Highlander Force, which is one of uh, North Star's French and Indian War sets. Now, um, these are a little bit different than, say, um, Highlanders for the Seven Years' War, um, because some of the uh, Highlanders are wearing Indian leggings and have replaced their sword with a tomahawk. So, uh, I think that's pretty cool. I, I don't know if it's actually historically accurate, but it, it could have happened. I, don't, I wouldn't really want to replace my sword with a little axe, but... There you go. So, um, anyhow, <laughs> uh, I've painted up some test models, and I think they came out pretty well. This guy here, he's got his sword there. Nice long sword. Not a tiny little axe. There's one with the Indian leggings. You can see his tall hawk there. The um, these guys are really nice. They're you know they're really well proportioned. I think the faces are really all excellent. the The guns are are kind of wonky looking, but you know they're all right. Um, so I really like these guys. Here's my captain, John Campbell. I'm calling him. So uh, you know when I was painting these guys, I I thought the the hardest part would be the tartan, but really, the tartan I thought came out pretty well. You know, it, um, you know, it's not perfect. You know, all the lines are not all exactly straight, and it's not um, how the tartan really should look. But you know, at this scale, uh, I think it it looks pretty good. Um, what I'm having problems with though are these socks, um, which are uh, sort of a white, pink, and red diamonds, and it's it's really tough for me to paint the um, straight diagonal lines like that. And, uh, I don't know, I think I ended up painting these socks maybe six times each before I got it where I was, you know, happy with it. I, I know they're not perfect, but I think they look alright. But I'm really glad that these guys are wearing, uh, some of them are wearing the Indian leggings, so I won't have to paint as many socks. Alright, so, the uh, question of the day. Now, I think I'm only going to do maybe uh, a video a week, so I'm just going to pick one of the early questions. And um, it was, uh, what's, what miniature that you painted last year are you most proud of? And uh, this is this guy. This is a uh, Space Orc Weird Boy. I've had this mini for a long, long time. And um, I was always intimidated with the, the uniform and the fact that you had to uh, sculpt this left arm. Um, here, this left arm, it would look like this if you didn't do any sculpting. So you had to add the, the epaulette and the, and the cuff and the sleeve. This is a space orc I painted 20 years ago. Hello. But anyhow, um, I was just happy that I, I finally painted him. You know, I, I had him, you know, sitting primed in a box for so long. And, um, you know, I know he's not a perfect, perfect job. Not heavy metal standard or anything. But I think he came out pretty good, and I'm just really happy with him. So, uh, anyhow... Um, if you want to see some more War Boss Tay painting challenge, I'll leave a link to the Google group. And you can also check out the My Wargaming Life webpage for some more, uh, for some other stuff there too. Um, so uh, that's it. I'll get back to you next week when show you what my progress is. Alright, thanks for watching.